Hi there. I have a different kind of sewing tip video to share with you today, but this is something that drives me crazy in a lot of my own clothes and I'm going to show you how I fix it every time. So I have three different dresses here. I actually wear a lot of dresses, especially in the summer. I just think they're easier and they're cooler. So some of them I make and some of them are store-bought. But the problem, and I know everybody loves pockets, right? Especially in dresses, everyone wants pockets in their dresses. But these side seam pockets, I don't know if you have this problem or if you've ever noticed, they get wrinkly or they make your dress just bulkier around the hip area. And sometimes, even in this one especially, because it's looser, sometimes I stand up and my pocket is like behind me in the back and I have to constantly stick my hands in my pockets to get them back where they're supposed to be. So I'm going to show you how I will make these pockets lie flat. These dresses are all very different. This one, I'm going to remove the pockets completely. I'll tell you why when I get there. <laughs> This one, I'm going to top stitch them down so that they're stitched to the outside of the dress. This dress is a little trickier because it's lined. And so I'm going to stitch the pockets to the lining so that they stop bunching up and moving around. Okay, so first I'm going to do this one. This is what you'll probably, this is the solution you'll probably find useful for most dresses. This is a Knox Rose dress from Target. It's 100% rayon. Most of my dresses are rayon. It's my favorite fabric. I always hang dry this dress and I never have to iron it except the darn pockets. They're always a wrinkled mess so they never stay put. They always look bunched up. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to simply top stitch the pocket to the dress itself. And so yes, there will be visible stitching but this print is so busy that it's not going to show. Oh, look, you can see I also have to <laughs> pin this close. I have this problem with Target dresses. The buttonholes are too big and they don't stay buttoned. Okay, so the first thing I need to go do... Oh, wait, I was saying I'm going to stitch this down so the stitching will show on the outside, but only if you're looking closely. This is such a busy print that it's not going to matter. If you have a print that you really don't want to disrupt with stitching, or if it would be very obvious, then one of the other solutions might work better. But this is what I'm going to do with this one, and this is what will be most useful most of the time. So let me go iron all of this very flat, this whole section. Okay, I've ironed both my pockets flat, made sure everything is nice and pressed. Then I'm going to just take this quilting roller and slide it between my layers of fat skirt pieces. And you want to make sure you're getting the pocket towards the front. You don't want to accidentally sew them backwards. <laughs> okay, so this is nice and flat. My pocket opening is where it's supposed to be. I'm going to fold it over carefully. Because you also don't want to create a gaping pocket on the other side, you know. Okay, and I'm going to pin it in place. All the way around the edges. This is a pretty flowy dress. So imperfections are okay but if you press it well it should fit perfectly okay so now all I have to do is stitch with my sewing machine starting at the side seam go all the way around right on top of the stitching that holds the pocket together okay here is my pocket from the front look you can't even tell it's there perfect side seam pocket stitched down it's important to make sure you have matching thread and then from the inside, it used to be floppy. Now it looks like this. Okay, so there's one down already and I've only been, let's see, I've been filming for 10 minutes. <laughs> it's all the time that it took. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This dress I actually got from Stitch Fix. If you're not familiar with Stitch Fix, you can sign up with a style profile and a stylist sends you a box of clothing to try on every month and you keep and pay for what you love and you send back what you don't. The things that I don't make or thrift, I almost always get from Stitch Fix. They have sent me some really nice things. They last a very long time and it's a good way to try things that I probably wouldn't have picked up off the rack at the store. I just don't really have time to go shopping at stores and it's no longer my preferred method of shopping. So this has been great for me and I will link to the Stitch Fix down below. I have a little affiliate link down there. 
if you want to try it yourself. Okay, so these pockets, this fabric is not really conducive to the top stitching method because you can see it's a crinkle rayon. When you stitch on a crinkle rayon, the crinkles start to get flattened out, everything looks warped and distorted, and so that's just not the best solution for this particular fabric. So I'm going to remove the pockets altogether. I know that's like blasphemy to some people, how could you remove pockets? <laughs> but this is actually really easy. Well, let me turn it wrong side out. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is cut the pockets off, making sure I'm not cutting my side seams. Might want to cut it into layers if I'm worried about it. Cut the top layer first. And then cut the bottom layer. Not too close to my seam because I'm going to sew over that seam to sew it shut. Okay. You're still gonna have part of that pocket attached and if you want to, if you are a perfectionist, you might want to seam rip and remove the little piece of pocket that's remaining. But I am just going to sew my seam right inside of the existing seam line where the pocket was sewn in, and then I'm going to serge off this mess. That's all I'm gonna do. So let me pin it flat. You might need to iron it if yours is more wrinkled than mine. If your skirt is already kind of tight, this might not work for you. You might want to seam ripper it so you don't lose any width, but mine fits fine. So I'm just going to re-sew a new side seam right along here. Okay, I kept my blue thread so you could see this easier. Hopefully you can see that. I tapered my new seam to meet the existing side seam and I just sewed a little bit inside of where the pocket is so I won't have that bulk of this cutoff part in the side seam. Now I'm going to just go serge this seam so I can cut off the messy pocket part. Okay, it looks seamless, so to speak. <laughs> okay, so maybe your fabric though, this crinkle rayon is very forgiving, so it would be hard to see imperfections in this. If you don't have a fabric like that, another option after you cut off the pocket is to bring these outside, on the outside of your skirt part, bring it to meet and invisibly hand stitch it closed. That is a less messy option on the other side, and that way you also don't have to lose any dress width. Or if your fabric is gonna really show where you replace the seam, or if you don't want this bulky mess out here, then that's another option for you too. So let me go do the other side of this. Okay, so I gave this a good press, and from the outside you cannot even tell that there were pockets there or that I made an alteration. So this is done. Now I have two dresses done. And this will be the last one. This one might be a little bit trickier. This I got at the thrift store, but I think this is a Walmart brand, time and true. But it's linen and I liked the style. It fits me perfectly. It is lined. So with the lining and the pockets and just the bulk of the linen, the whole hip area just looks disproportionately bulky when I wear it. So I have never worn it. I just got it in the winter though, so. I don't feel like it was wasting much time. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is sort of pull the skirt away from the lining and see what I'm working with. I think the best solution will be to stitch the pocket down to its lining. So first I need to get in between here and just press the pocket so it's not all crinkled like that. Okay, so now it's nice and flat and I have, I can sort of see what I'm working with. It's a little tricky to get in there because the lining is attached to the button band, but let's see if I can do it. I don't know if it's gonna work. How inside out can I get it? Okay, that's not going to work because you see how this is attached to the outside of the skirt. Okay, sometimes sewing is about trial and error. So I think the best option for this dress is also to top stitch it so that it will show on the outside, but I'm actually okay with that. But I wanna top stitch it so that the lining's out of the way. So let's turn it around this way. I can get my quilting ruler in here. I'm gonna change the red color probably to this cream color. If I can get this skirt to lay nice and flat. Okay, 
There we go. Hopefully. Oh no, the skirt's pretty gathered. Hmm. You know what? I just don't know if this is going to work for this one. But now I know. If it continues to bother me, even after I've pressed it, I might actually just take the entire lining out and remove the pockets. But maybe I'll give it a really good iron and then just try it on and see. I think if I did remove these pockets, I would hand sew them closed and then cut them off. I mean, this is the kind of dress that's sort of handy to have pockets in. But maybe now that I press them, it won't bother me so much. So let's see, the jury's still out on this one. If you are interested in more alterations like this, I actually keep a basket of alterations in my sewing room. And it's not like your mom's basket where things go to die and never resurface. <laughs> I actually do go through it every few months and I alter or fix things, repair things, and or just sort of remake them or refit them or resize them or decide that I want to cut it up and make something else. If that's something that you're interested in, I'd be happy to go through my mending basket here on a video. But I hope this has been helpful for you. I have some sensory issues around clothes and so anything that I have to mess with constantly to keep it in place, those things drive me crazy. So I'm really thrilled to have fixed these two dresses that previously I tended to avoid because of the pockets and now they're completely wearable. So yeah, if you like this kind of thing, please let me know and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.